This is September 1st, 2013. This machine is in perfect working condition, very good shape. This here is the, the disconnect switch, which if you got power of the machine, will turn it on. We go walk around to the other side, and the, and the switch to turn the machine on is right here. Turn it on. We're presently running at 1,250 RPM in the high range. If we was in the low range, we would be at 480. We, as you can see, the range runs all the way from 75 RPM to 2,000 RPM, and those are selected here. We walk around here to the other side. This will power the head up and down. Activate the lever down, it moves down. here will run the quill up and down. Presently, we're going down into the cup. We have wore the speed on the quill. This here is what you run your dial indicators with that fit in right up in, in here. This here fits clamps onto the quill right here and it goes up and down with the quill and you can get your dial indicator readings with it. Presently I'm going to lay this down here being we're not going to set a dial indicator up on it. Okay, uh, I have lowered the speed on the, on the machine down to 480 RPM per minute and I'll turn it back on. This here, this here handle here, release the lock, and you can run it side to side, and it also has a vernier setting here to break it down into small incremental. It's very smooth. That's your clutch, right? Mm -hmm. but presently, we're raising the quill up. Okay, we'll shut this and, off. And you set the bike for RPM right there, huh? On the Z, for the Z axis, this lever sets it either in the up or the down position. So. Except for the table. This lever here will move the table in or out. Here again, it also, let's get around here, it also has a vernier on it to get very fine settings. At this point, I'm going to shut the machine off. All right, I think you've covered everything, Joe. That, that's a fine running machine. It sure was a well-made machine, too. It's a very, very precision machine. What's the precision on this? You told me once it was t one ten thousandth, or? Yeah, you can easily accomplish one ten thousandths by using the vernier. Okay. On all axes. Okay. Okay.